What up guys, welcome back to another episode with Double Digit Fishing. Right now I am behind Cheeto. Go check out his channel, it's pretty uh, entertaining. Cusses a lot in this channel, which I like. <laughs> but uh, we're at Castaic Lake. It's about 50 to 55 degrees outside right now, pretty chilly. Um, I get you guys an update on the water temp and um, see what the water level is like. But other than that, we're gonna go key on some largemouth bass and stripers because they just planted trout. So thanks for uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, I'll check in with you guys later. Peace. Damn, it feels like a while since I've been on the water. All right, let's go. I feel like uh, going somewhere already. <laughs> I think, I thought it was gonna be like amazing because all the trout that was planted. All right, so where should we go? You're my guided, guided trip. <laughs> okay, there's a bunch of little... Peak arms? Yeah. Should we work the shade pockets right here? Like maybe at that next, not that point where the guy's at, but the next one down? Yes. Or you want to just work this? We could work this area. I'll just go like 40 yards down and then I'll let you cover this area right here. Not that clear. That's the most disappointing thing ever is when you know they're there, but they just don't want to bite. Look at look at my graph. <laughs> Dude, you should see mine. Is it lit? Like <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to keep on doing this until we find the right school. Alright, sounds good. I found a whole bunch of bait and fish right here. Huh? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, that was a good one, too. Oh, yeah. That hurt.
I guess it's gonna be a finesse deal, guys. I really didn't wanna fish the worms today, but I mean, if it's catching fish, let's get a limit, simmer down, then we can chase the big ones, I guess. Let's see if we can get, let's see how much this one will go. 13? 13, guys, 13 inches. First fish of the day. Nice little bugger. Probably didn't even make a pound. I lost a big one, dude. I lost one on the spoon. Just one fish. I lost, uh, well, I lost two. And then one jumped off and threw the bait. And then the other one just came off, just spit and drag. I'm pretty sure it was a striper. There's this guy that uh, I passed by and he was like, yeah, I caught 18 to 20, and I was like, oh, damn. He was like, here's the bait. And he throws me a three-inch thin Senko. Yeah. Two, three baits? No, it's actual, like, actually, like, a Senko. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, I tossed it on for shits and giggles, and I got three bites right away. <laughs> oh. I got one in the boat. <laughs> Did you get bit? Dude, I was reeling it up when I got bumped. You got one? Yeah! <laughs> got one on the spoon, dude. There we go, Cheeto. Yeah. Biggin'. Biggin', bro. <laughs> so it did go slack. He was on the whole time, huh? Yeah, so then he's like, so then he's like, uh, Oh, you got two on the spoon. I caught a bass, like a largemouth on the spoon. No way. So now you have confidence in the spoon. Dude, I haven't caught a striper in like over All right, guys. So this is maybe a couple days after my fishing experience over at Castaic. As you can see, I lost a lot of fish. Wasn't as planned, but kind of in a shortage of rod. So that, that last fish that I lost off the spoon that was the wrong rod to use. That was a flipping rod, it's too heavy, too heavy, heavy of an action. I usually fish with like a medium, medium heavy swim bait rod that's like eight foot range, but that's my fault, definitely. Other fish, I think that was kind of just unlucky, the Ned Rig, but it wasn't my day. We're gonna have these days as, as an angler, but it was good just getting out there. It's been a while since I got out there. Uh, I, I've been having a lot of lower back issues after um, driving that 24 hour trip. I believe that's what did it. Give myself like two weeks of rest before I went out there. Went out to Castaic with Cheeto, AKA Mike, a uh, great guy. He caught four fish, all junk fishing, swim baits, spoons, and a jig, I believe. But yeah, you know, I'm not gonna have good days all the time. I take it as fun fishing is almost like a practice day. You know, you just figure them out and then hopefully the next time you'll get on them. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video. I know it was 
not a lot of catching. It was more fishing than catching, but uh, I'll, I'll have more entertaining videos coming up soon. Anyways, subscribe, hit that alert button, and hit that like button. It helps me a lot. Um, and any of the links below, if you use those links, I get a small, small percentage that helps the channel out. And it will support my morale by continuing to do all these vlogs for, for next year, 2022. But I'm excited about next year. I'll be announcing a new team, a uh, new staff that I will be joining. So excited. I'll let you know when that comes. Anyways, catch you later. Peace.